Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grantville, Pennsylvania on Friday evening, May the 12th. This is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 tonight, folks, 7.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track, three-year-olds and up racing for a claiming prize of $15,000. $200. Contenders number two is Everybody Happy. Number one, Missed on the Muscova. Number four, Wolfenbarger. And number three, Jeff's Goods. Number two is Everybody Happy. He scored with a trio of power run board hits in his last five, including a power run win to break his maiden in his fifth race back. Number one, Missed on the Muscova. A four to one shot qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. He has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his last four, including a blistering 15 length power run win to break his maiden in his last start. Jockey Tyler Connor was in his arms for that win back tonight here at Penn Nat. Here in Granville for another ride gunning for back to back circuit trips. Race 5 summary number 2 is everybody happy? Tops my contenders list tonight here at Penn National, which also includes number one, yeah. Mist on the Muscova, number four, Wolfenbarger, and number three, Jeff's Goods, 2143 in the fifth from Penn National. Some Friday long shots for you to think about. Charlestown, race five, the 10 to 1 bomb. Number five, 50 nays for hay. Decent overall speed for this six and a half for a long sprint. It's hit the board and power on fashion at three of her last four starts. Indiana Downs, race two, number five, Supreme Justice, a nine to two shot, drops in class by nine units. The overall speed leader in this allowance field is pretty at six furlongs on the dirt. It's posted a trio of power run wins in his last four starts. So handicapping for Penn National on a Friday night, we're either for day at the track .com. and the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.